85-year-old Andrei Vulpe was a child when Soviet forces came to his native Bessarabia in what is now Moldova in 1944. Five years later, the authorities rounded up and deported hundreds of people from his village. Vulpe, then 18 and a junior member of the village council, was expected to lend a hand. One night in June 1949, Russian soldiers ordered him to help deport a family of peasants deemed by authorities to be anti-Soviet. Vulpin knew he would be arrested if he disobeyed. He took the soldiers to Maria's house. What he saw would haunt him for the rest of his life. About 60 families were deported from Vulpe's village that night. They were put on a train to Siberia and other far-flung regions in the Soviet Union. His aunt and nephew were among them. Over the 15 years that followed the Soviet takeover, an estimated half a million Moldovans were deported from Bessarabia and northern Bukovina. It was part of Joseph Stalin's ruthless campaign to crush dissent and speed up the collectivization of Moldova's agriculture. Vulpe went on to become a history teacher at the school in his native village, but he never forgot Maria and the role he played in the tragedy that struck her family. <laughs> Sine mie, în, în subconștientul meu, o, 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 o aveam, o vedeam, o începeam, oare mai este ea pe lume? Moral, sunt vinovat. In Moldova, locals who collaborated with Soviet soldiers were known as palachi, executioners. But historian Mariana Tsiranu believes people like Andrei Vulpe should not be held responsible for the deportation. În mentalitatea colectivă s-a format o percepție greșită, precum că unii localnici sunt responsabili direct de portarea acestora. De ce? Pentru că în acea noapte de pomină a bătut în ușă patru oameni necunoscuți, toți îmbrăcați în uniforme militare, toți vorbind limba rusă, unul fiind înarmat, și un localnic, care de fapt absolut nicio vină nu poartă. El este una din jertfile regimului totalitar comunist, exact așa cum este și acea familie deportată în noaptea de pomină. Andrei Vulpe was able to track down Maria 10 years ago. Unlike many others, she survived her deportation and returned to Moldova. He offered her material help, hoping to make amends, but she turned him down. She has since passed away. Vulpe says he will continue telling Maria's story to atone for his guilt and about how a promising student became an accomplice in Stalin-era crimes.